Welcome to the Pilgrim's Project. Hey people, it's the Pilgrim and welcome to the Command Bunker. Uh, when I started building this I was thinking of like a Mars colony space station sort of idea but I started to put some features into the smaller circles like the gun ports around the outsides for defence and I thought yeah no, it's, you could really defend this place it's like a really small castle. And yeah so I decided it looked more like a command bunker. Um, a builder called Safarius mentioned it looked more like a base from Command and Conquer or some other RTS game and I really like that idea. Uh, Safaris has got a YouTube channel, he's got some really outstanding builds on there. Um, I'll put a link to it in the description so you can go and check him out. Um, but yeah, that's sort of how this idea came around. I painted it all up, like, kept it like white and red, like with a bit of a military look to it. Um, the interior, I've got like lifts and stuff going up to the other floors. Um, each of the corners is accessible. In there they've got like extra walls in between so if someone was shooting through they want not hit other people in the back you know if you had like a like a defensive circle i don't know if you've ever looked at a castle and you've got like the arrow ports where the archers are the crossbowmen used to stand and you know shoot through that's sort of the idea i had um built some little computer consoles and stuff the windows are all greenhouse glass um and i used the tech fence foundation on the outside so it's just clipping over and then clip the glass to the floor inside and then clip metal fences to the fence foundation on the outside so they're like literally touching but it just gives the glass a bit more defense so you can maybe have some windows in there um, this is just a little area I was messing about with some decor you can see out everywhere got bullet production there there's not much in the second floors of most of the circles they're all open at the moment but I did a few like this Got like that whole glass section is looking down at the ramp and the sort of access on the right hand side and then you've got the bridge that goes out so it's not an easy place to get to to be honest either it's quite a defensible place and i build some walls around it build some more little buildings like this and make a bit of a like a series out of it real-time strategy buildings i have to call it that now I've started the walls already, but I'll go through that in another video. This is just like a little barracks. Kept that looking nice and clean. Let's get down to each level. Through here, just more places for like bullet production, food, whatever you need. And over here is just like the all production. So I've put some dinosaur doors in the bottom so you can get your crafting dinos in, uh, your farming dinos and the rest of it's just mostly dedicated to crafting and then up here is just like another little command section overlooking like the north of the city just put them as like little computer consoles use that same idea with the glass like that, I don't know how many RPGs it would take to get through it probably not much but it's better than just having the whole thing blocked off all the time plus most of the stuff I build is like PvE um, stuff anyway so I wasn't re really thinking of like defending against a, a PvP attack at the start anyway got enough room there for an indie forge plenty of vaults and stuff so you can get all your crafting done in this area I'm really happy with the way this base turned out actually it's pretty cool uh, I've got about four hours of footage, you know, from the building of it, so um, I'll, I'll put something together. Like, you can get snow owls inside, um, I put a couple of uh, metal pillars there so you can just fly straight in, and um, I'll watch you call it, trapdoor. Um, yeah, the footage that I've got, uh, I can do like a speed build with it, or I can do like a more technical one and put all the sizes and explain every step. Um, I don't know what people prefer really, so 
yeah, if you watch it and you, and you want to see like a, a build video of it, just leave us a comment and I'll sort of decide from what people say what's the best thing to build, uh, the best idea for a video for it. Uh, that back there then was just a little place you can sort of hatch eggs and stuff. Sort of covered all the bases, you've got your cryopods in there so you can get a bunch of dinosaurs in. And yeah, this was my idea, um, I decided to PvP it up a little bit. So yeah, it's absolutely bristling with guns and I think pretty much every angle is covered there. I mean, proper PvP players are probably just tear through it you know get your bullet soaking dinosaurs in there and stuff and there's probably angles that aren't quite covered but yeah i'm not a huge arc pvp -er, barely at all did some in rust but i used to just build bases that were that big people would run out of c4 halfway through and give up but um with this place i just thought i'd like really cover all the angles with, with the guns um like i said i'm gonna build walls around it. it's gonna have a few more buildings and stuff um but this is built on my server so i was thinking like if i spawned everything in for someone or a couple of people give them all dinosaurs guns everything they'd need to sort of come and take the place on um yeah and see if someone could take it out make a video out of it it'd be fun um but yeah that was sort of the idea behind it and it's turned into a bit of a sort of pvp command bunker right and that is about it guys um I've got a Discord channel up if you want to come on and ask any questions about the builds or anything like that. And I've been using the new community page on YouTube quite a bit just to keep people posted on what I'm building next and sort of what my ideas are behind, you know, the builds that I'm making. Uh, yeah, and I think that pretty much covers this place. Right, if you get a chance, uh, go and check out the rest of the channel. Um, what else is there? Oh yeah, it'd be cool if people would like share the videos around a little bit and just sort of help me grow the channel. I'd really love to have a proper big YouTube channel, get loads of people watching the videos. Yeah, uh, thanks for watching guys, and I'll catch you later.